Not much hope today, but let's go take a look anyway. Hey guys, before we start the episode, I just want to quickly let you know, and there will be more information to come, that I'm going to be a seller, an official first-time seller at the K-Town Collectible Expo, and it's going to be happening uh, the last Sunday in September, retro games, old school toys, vintage comics, baseball, hockey cards, what have you, it's going to be a really great time, so if you're in my neck of the woods, you know, stop by my table, I'll set you up with a good deal. So, on that note, this is Flea Market Adventures 11, and I'm really happy to get out because it's been raining every weekend. It's June and July. We've been having a, a not-so-cool summer. So with that being said, I'm in a completely different mindset now in what I'm hunting. I'm definitely looking for more things that I can sell on my table. And uh, in that, I mean, like, I've always seen, like, different games or figures that I don't necessarily collect. Like, I don't really collect a lot of Dragon Ball Z stuff, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, you know, a lot of G.I. Joe stuff I don't usually pick up. But now that I know that I'm going to have this table, I can think of some people in mind that would like that, that I don't always trade with. So I'm looking definitely for stuff for my table. And also, uh, my daughter, Arkham, is one month old now. I can't believe it. She's getting so old. <laughs> so fast uh, oh my gosh uh, anyway uh, we're looking for cabbage patch care bear you know we're buying all the disney princesses all the disney dvds and blu-rays now so it just opens up um you know like what i'm looking for at different tables now i'm not just necessarily looking for old video games and you know it, it's given a new lease on life on uh, going to flea markets and yard sales bunch of dvds you always have to check when you see the odd colored this case you know nine out of ten times it's just a weird children's movie but you know sometimes you're gonna find an xbox or a wii game thrown in there So again, the weather did call for rain, so it's very sparse out here, not a lot of tables, but you know, you have to get out there every weekend and go look, and uh, with the baby being born, this is my first time in a month coming out to uh, do some flea marketing. So again, you know, um, not a lot of stuff out there, but still have to take a look. A lot of these tables are, you know, take a handful for X amount of dollars, two for five, you know, three for ten, and it's just a, a hodgepodge of different things. Not necessarily anything that I'm looking for, but there's, you know, definitely people that buy because I see a lot of familiar sellers already and their tables are always completely different. Over here, there's, uh, you know, there's always DVDs, there's people selling clothes, tools, and I'm seeing uh, hockey cards are making a comeback and the prices are very reasonable if you're looking for, say, uh, a Crosby rookie, a Price rookie, even stuff like I've seen Bobby Orr and Wayne Gretzky stuff out there. You know, they're still commanding hundreds of dollars, but not like when I was a kid where it was, you know, it was at its pinnacle. And speaking of which, I will be opening up some hockey packs on my secondary channel if you want to check that out. You'll see that a little later on when I show you everything that I pick up. Now, for the Saturday, that flea market wasn't that great. Again, they were saying rain, so I decided to check out a few yard sales, and this yard sale at the end of the 207, that's like at the border of our community. It's, uh, it's quite a drive out there. This woman was advertising a multifamily yard sale. Now, when you see multifamily yard sale, those are the ones you have to get to because there's going to be a lot of tables, and chances are you're going to find uh, certain items that you want because, you know, every family's got that one video gamer. Every family's got that guy that collects CDs and records records what have you here we have a bunch of books and uh, this particular family family had lots of Legos lots of Transformers GI Joe's Marvel characters what have you this was a great place to stop at and I actually gave a heads up to my buddy Mark at uh, Retro Revenge and I think he made it out too so if you're watching Mark what's up Yeah, 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 please. 
Go ahead, Ma. Stand at the road and do this. Mm -hmm. You need one of those wacky inflatable waving tube man things. Well, I was thinking of getting my Maleficent costume and just stand out there mm. and point. They'll be doing it if they don't come. Yes. Oh, nobody uh, right next to McCumbers. Nobody oh, stops and then no, yeah. it's nice that the kids come around but everyone's rollerblading and yeah. she's overprotective. So I just got home and that yard sale that I just came from, she just messaged me. She said that she found more video games for her PlayStation 2. There's six games that she's going to give them to me for 10 bucks. So there's a, well you'll see in a second, but there's a couple of uh, Grand Theft Autos. But what caught my attention was Silent Hill 3 and Manhunt. So let's go back down to the OCR and pick them up. It's going to be like another 20 minute round trip. Should be worth it though. Giving up prime not raining hunting time to go back for these games is a gamble, but you know, you'll see the games. It's I think it was worth it, and that'll be part of our question of the week. So it was $20 for everything in the bag. 20 bucks, but you know, I'm happy with it because there was more than six games. Got uh, Title Legends, Space Invaders, 28 games, looks like Bubble Bobble on there, Golden Axe. Uh, another copy of Resident Evil 4 Greatest Hits, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, my favorite out of all of them even though I really enjoyed 5, Silent Hill 3 with that good old EB's uh, pre-played cover on it, I'm going to obviously get rid of that though, and then Max Payne 1 Greatest Hits, and oh, two more still. Manhunt. Fantastic game. I really love this. I, I'd have to give uh, part two another try again. I had it on the Wii. I just didn't really care for the controls at the time. And uh, I did pick this up. It was on sale on the PS4. That was really fun to play through. Controls were uh, pretty tough to get used to though again. I remember it being more smooth than it actually was, but great game. And uh, Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. And this one had a $14 sticker on it at one time. So all of those guys, second trip back down the old, uh, the 207, you know, 20 minute, 25 minute round trip altogether, but I think it was worth it again, 20 bucks, like what was it, 7 or 8 PS2 games, some good titles too. So what I like to do in most of my episodes now is put everything out on the table so that you can see everything that I picked up in the last week. So we've got stuff from the dollar store, we've got stuff from Plattsburgh pawn shops, We've got stuff from uh, yard sales and we've got a little bit of Costco and retail mixed in. So I'm going to go through everything quickly. I'll show you what I paid for it again. And as a little caveat to get some more traffic on my second channel, which I've changed from Locks Nest Collections to video games and collectibles in my room, I'm going to be opening up the uh, Disney Unity figures and all of the dollar store hockey packs. No Pokemon cards this week, but... You know, it says, uh, it's being advertised now that it's got complete packs from the 90s in it, so I want to go through those again. So again, this is everything I picked up. I just like to lay everything out, take pictures of it, and uh, it's a good way for me to remember what I picked up and catalog. Let's take a closer look. Now quickly, I've always gotten asked, uh, what's your setup like and why did you move to the kitchen? Well, there's a little more room, there's a bigger table, and the lighting is better, especially since I actually put some money into the show and bought better lighting. And the breakdown of everything I got, you get to see it a little closer and what I actually paid for it. Took a quick trip to the States to pick up the Stanley Cup Championship Penguin shirt, spent 21 American on it. For 50 cents, I picked up this Cobra vehicle, 1989, I believe the year is. What is it? I don't know. I don't know th what this thing was, but for a dollar, I picked it up. It kind of looks like a xenomorph skull, but what a human face. I got this for free because, again, the Penguins won. This is actually a gift for Arkham. In the dollar store right now, the Dollaramas, the Disney Infinity, $3 Boba Fett. 
uh, in the States I picked up RC Pro Am for five bucks, you know, about seven fifty Canadian. Five dollars a piece for Super Breakout and Football Atari 5200. Again, five dollars each. For six bucks, I picked up Harvest Moon on the GBA. For I think two dollars, I picked up this mini Warthog from Halo. Really cool. Twenty bucks, had to buy it. It's all the Legacy Collection, the original Planet of the Apes on Blu-ray. A buck each, a huge toad, and a Mario. This is going to the expo. Four dollars liquidation, a Goomba from Walmart. Somebody paid seven dollars for this. Again, from the dollar store. You know I love it. Star Wars Hot Wheels. Uh, I can't even read what it is. Flight Navigator. Four bucks each. I see people selling these online already. Twenty bucks a piece. This is Game of Thrones. This is uh, I don't even know her name. Cause I don't watch it. Toys R Us sales again. This is Galvatron Transformers. Twenty dollars for this guy. Look at that monster. And then also for twenty dollars, uh, Astro Train. I believe his name is. I think he was part of some kind of combiner back in the day, but now he's a standalone. He looks awesome too. He's probably going to be set up as the spaceship on the shelf. For $7, the Toy Box Starter Pack comes with the game. This is version 2.0, Disney Infinity. I may give it a try. And in the dollar store, I picked up the book, which is a huge uh, guide that covers all the figures. Also from Walmart, they're starting to step up their magazine game. This is the Ultimate Zelda Companion. Goes through all the games, glosses over, really cool. Uh, this is coming to the convention, the expo with me. This is another strat guide for Titanfall from the dollar store. Again, dollar store. This is Guardians of the Galaxy UB finger figurines. And then this is what they look like. You know, for $2.50 each, they're not that bad. Drax, Rocket, one of the guards. Also from Walmart, I picked up for $20 on liquidation. This is a car camera. It's going to be used for the show. Here's the pack of cards I was talking about. Two bucks each guaranteed sealed old 90s pack. I'm going to open that up on the secondary channel. And then the games I picked up. The Thing, Lord of the Rings, uh, Anamushu, ATV, Brute Force, and then Manhunt, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, San Andreas, Silent Hill 3, Max Payne 1 and 2, Resident Evil 4, and Taito Legends. And then uh, I opened these guys up two weeks ago, but again, they're from the dollar store. Falcon and Iron Fist. Five bucks liquidation at Walmart. Of course, I grabbed these grips for the PS4 and Xbox One. There was a sale for Canada Day. Let's not get started on that. 15 bucks for Street Fighter V. I like it. I don't care what you say. I enjoyed the game. Uh, for a dollar, X-Men Mutant Academy on the PS1. I, I don't know why. I feel bad for broken Transformers. I'm going to use them for parts, I guess, eventually. 50 cents. Roadblock, I think. No, it can't be Roadblock. What's this guy's name? This is the uh, second one I picked up. He actually had the uh, weapon, which I'm surprised. Definitely a Michael Bay character. Look at that face and the feet. From GameStop in the States, uh, I was finally happy to find one of these. I always see them on the internet where people draw the cover. It's Lego Batman 2. And I picked up a $25 PlayStation Store card. I bought a bunch of games because I have my PS4 at my girlfriend's house. Stormtroopers Trilogy and the animated computer generated movie, two bucks each. Uh, from the dollar store, Master Yoda, it's one of those push buttons. I need it for my closet, I thought it was funny. Picked up the Venom, pretty dirty, but we'll clean him up. He was 50 cents, Spider Man figure. Uh, for Father's Day, I got a Super Dad mug, my favorite coffee mug now, it's awesome. And just the other day, I picked up Horizon Zero Dawn for the PS4. Oh my god, best game I've played all year. Check it out if you haven't. And that's going to do it for this episode. Feel free to check out the videos on the side if you want to see more from the Locks Nest Monster channel. And guys, I am so sorry that I haven't been watching a lot of videos lately, you know, with the baby. Uh, I will get back to videos, and if I haven't seen your stuff yet, make sure that you mention it in the comments. I will get to you guys, you know, it's just new baby, uh, a lot of responsibility. I don't have a lot of time for YouTube, that's why there's been like a two or three week gap. Uh, again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. I'm out of here.